you're not going to understand Marxism unless you understand the fucking value form. But you don't want to understand the value form because that's complicated. So I'll do my best to make it simple for you. The value form is a psychological abstraction that exists throughout capitalist history and pre-capitalist history too, but it doesn't become generalized until the onset of generalized commodity production, uh, which you know produces it and makes it universal. Uh, the, the, the value form, in a nutshell, is just the point of comparison between two commodities in the marketplace that gets abstracted into a total social system that compares all commodities in the marketplace. It's crystallized labor, because this labor, uh, the value of labor underlies the value of each individual commodity. So, what is the value form? It is the total value of all of the labor underlying all of the commodities within the marketplace. It's difficult, but it's not that hard to fucking understand if you stop and think about it for just a fucking second. It's really not. And, well, I do book worship, book worship. You're not gonna get Marxism. And some, most of you probably don't really care to because you know that I'm right, that it says that there's no real place for the organized left and you want to make your living on the left. But you're gonna be proletarianized eventually. Um, so you might as well get used to it. So start doing and trying to understand theory. I'll do what I can to help as best as I can. I'm not, I, I don't have any fucking qualifications for it, but you don't need any goddamn qualifications for it, do you? So anyway, the value form, it's just an abstraction of the value of all the labor underlying all the commodities in the market. It changes and shifts over time. It's more loose and, and diverse during the early onset of capitalism when various and divergent cultures are starting to intermesh into this global marketplace, but it becomes standardized over time. Uh, you know, the prices of goods that reflect in a certain way the underlying value of the labor, but isn't directly correlative there, becomes homogenous worldwide as capital progresses. It's that fucking simple. I don't know how I can explain it any more simply than that. 